It's a pleasure to be here uh, and talking to all of you. Uh, especially also because, as Manish mentioned, I am a developer by education and by passion. Um, I, uh, when I became a developer, I thought that was the best job in the world. Um, and I thought a beautifully written code is a piece of an art. Now I feel comfortable saying here, there are other groups when I say that people give me a look. Um, but I think it's, that's, the, that's my background. And as I grew in my career, I had a chance to work uh, with um, amazing piece of technology, uh, so many other automation technology, whether it is ETL, BPM, A EAI, and many other three-letter acronyms many of us are familiar with. Um, a chance to contribute to it, make technologies better. And I felt we were making a huge impact. Um, but uh, as, I, as I mentioned, as I grew in my career, I reached a point where I, re I realized that I was not invited to 80% of the meetings. This 80% of the meetings that business had was about if the application didn't have an API, if application could not be integrated, uh, business just hired, uh, rented a building and hired lots of people and they decided to use people as a bridges between these applications. And as I traveled the world, I saw that the, the, the world was using people as these bridges between applications. And as a developer, I, I wasn't contributing to the 80% of the problem space. So I decided to do something about it. Uh, I, so when I had an opportunity to do my sixth startup, uh, I said, how do we, how do we solve this problem? Uh, the, so back in 2003, we started with an idea. Uh, it wasn't called RPA back then, but that's the only thing we ever did. Uh, and the idea was to be able to automate uh, virtually any application that can be automated. Uh, in a developer language, it is converting every screen into a virtual API, if you will, so that anybody can automate uh, any application. And uh, another idea was to bring the power of automation to the masses, democratize it, so that uh, simple automation can be done by a business user and more complex automation can be done by a developer. Uh, with a vision that you know anything that can be automated should be automated. Um, the, the power, we have come a long way. Uh, this category, as Manish mentioned, is showing a, one of the fastest growing category in enterprise software now. Uh, but its potential is far more. We are just scratching the surface of it. Uh, I don't think, um, I, I, I think over the last many years, much of uh, jobs in the world has become very robotic. I don't think people were put on this planet for a swell chair operation. We can find our passion, but I'm fairly certain it wasn't a robotic job of swell chair operation. And so if we automate all of these processes, uh, the potential is immense. And as a developer, uh, you know, we all hear, hear about software eating the world. Uh, this is it. The, you know, the 80% of things that we could never touch before could now is accessible to us. And uh, the, we, we, the entire technology space and the humans, uh, uh, creativity, ingenuity can take it to the next level. So that's the passion behind it. Um, the, one of the things very exciting about it, I find, is uh, often technology starts by making things faster, better, cheaper. That's kind of a normal norm everybody thinks about. But technology does far more than that, right? It allows you to do things you never did before. That is the real power of technology. So uh, when you think of the automation, uh, obviously all the benefits of automation, error reduction, speed, faster, agility, uh, cost reductions, all the benefits apply. But its real benefit is being able to do things we never did before. So my vision for this is that imagine a platform, a digital workforce platform where with the power of robotic process automation, our AI platform, and our bot store, which is an ecosystem of 
hundreds of thousands of uh, other software companies and, uh, uh, and, 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 and SIs, all of them on that platform. On that platform, what else is possible? And just like many other platforms, five to 10 years, maybe five years from now, I expect that many of us will create the next generation of applications, platforms. I'm not smart enough to know what they would be, but there would be things that will completely change how we think about things, new products, new services, uh, and the, hopefully the next multi-billion dollar companies on this platform. So that's the exciting part. Um, as exciting as creating next multi-billion dollar companies is, the even more exciting for me is, and the reason why I do this, is every software in the world changes how we work. That is true. But very rarely you have a chance to change what a work is. That happens in human civilization every 100 to 500 years. Yeah? Where you can, you can change the definition of work. So today, what we think of a work in an office environment, uh, for most of us, for many of us, the, what we do, if we are successful in 10 years, it will not be called work anymore. That doesn't happen in human civilization that, happen, that often. That is, that is amazing to me. And being able to contribute at that level in the society that you live in, that's, that's the best part. Yeah, how, how often you get to do that? So that's the that's my passion for doing what I do. Um, the I think the as I mentioned, opportunity is immense to participate for every developer for every idea to come together. I'm a big believer that the best ideas could, could come from anywhere in the world. Uh, I would love to see more things in our bot store. Uh, I have seen some of the amazing applications of bots that I never designed the software for. Nothing new about it. We all know that happens. Um, look forward to everybody contributing. Um, the vision for this world for us is uh, is to is to make make world a better place. And I'll share with you what we what we mean by it. Uh, we imagine a world where every human being, every job has a digital assistant working side by side, if you call it a digital worker, digital worker assistant, who is doing the things, part of the jobs that is not a human job, uh, allowing people to do what they do best and excel at uh, uh, part of the humanity. Um, and nothing, in a way, like a computer. A computer acts as our assistant. None of us can probably live without it for too long. Um, now it's time to take it to the next level, where these digital workers or digital work assistants, they will work side by side. We see them in our personal lives with Alexa and Siri. Why not in a work environment? Um, and eventually, if we push it, if you push this envelope, uh, Today in the United States and in many developed economies, about 4% of jobs require medium level of creativity. Think about it. Only 4% of jobs require medium level of creativity. So if, if you tell your children, like I do to my daughters, that they can, do any, they can do anything they want, what do we really mean? Is it that they get one of those 4% of jobs? And that's probably not good enough because it's a medium level of creativity. Maybe we mean they get one of the 0.1% of the jobs that are truly human jobs. My point is the world, we, we owe it to the next generation to make this world a better place. I would settle that at least 40% of the jobs require medium level of creativity. So underlying, if we succeed on all of this technology platform, we hope we create a world for the next generation uh, where there are at least 40% of the jobs that require medium level of creativity. Um, that's the vision for the future. Um, and technology is an amazing force. Uh, it is an amazing force to create opportunities for everybody, uh, give power to the world and every, it's one of the greatest democratizing force that I'm aware of, uh, at least the one that we can contribute through. Um, so I invite everybody and let's do it together. Thank you.